Hello and thanks for watching this Cloud9 ERP Solutions video and subscribing to our channels. In this video, we're going to take a peek at the new Acumatica user interface. Now, I'll preface that by saying that it's just starting to evolve. So there's still a lot of things that are coming soon, but this is what we see so far. So with this, it requires you to make a change to a file called web.config. So that change adds a certain key that enables it. Once you do that, if you go to sitemap, what you'll notice here is there's a new column called UI. And that column allows you to change from classic to modern. Now keep in mind, not all screens have been fully converted over. And if they're not, you'll see an error message here that this particular file is not available. So essentially Acumatica is changing to a different page file. So you can come over here, you can change it, and you can continue to change the screens that you'd like to test. Hit the save button, and now go into those screens. Now, for the purposes of this demo, I'm going to filter out Classic and just show the modern screens that I've turned on. So you can see here I have customers, the list, the primary list, as well as the customer profile. I have also sales orders because I wanted to get a document screen as well as a profile screen as well as a generic inquiry screen. So let's start off with customers. So immediately, if you're familiar with Acumatica, you can see this is all brand new. And some things are different in the way they're handled. If you click on the column chooser, you'll notice that all of your columns that are available are here and you can check them off. You can also drag this in order to move the column to a different position. As opposed to the available columns on the left that you can select and then arrow over to move them over to the columns that you have in existence. And to show you that, let me open up a screen where I don't have the modern turned on. So let's open up payables and we'll look at vendors. You can see the older user interface. I'll just click back. You can see how the headers are a little different. They're a little softer. You can also see the draft across the bottom. Again, this is a work in progress, not ready for release yet. Under vendors, you can see here, if I click on the column chooser, this is the column chooser the way it used to be. So additionally, you can also move your columns the same way. If you click on a column, you can do a sort. Notice how fast it is, much faster than before. You can also do a filter. So it contains. You can clear your filter. You can find your filters right here. So for example, right now we're looking at all records. This is a little different than before. You can see I have US customers here. I can see my different filters up across the top. So country equals US. But I can also click this button and add something to my filter. So let's say I also want the state. I can click on state and do my filter right here and put in a state. So now I've modified US customers, well not yet, but I've added the state equals New York or contains New York, and then I could save that here, and now US customers essentially is US New York customers. And of course at any time, you can drop out these filters and resave. If at any time you want, you can click on this dot dot. You can save your existing filter. So we'll call this New York customers. Once again, we can share it with others, make it our default. And now we have US and New York customers. Of course, state is wrong because this is just US customers. So we can drop that and save the filter. So now US customers just contains US and New York customers has both filters, US 
for the country, and the state is New York. Additionally, you can click here and open your advanced filter. So you could see the visualization. We can continue to add additional filters. All of these are and filters, but we could say maybe we want New Jersey also. So we'll click on that, we'll click state, we'll click on this and we'll say NJ, we'll hit apply, but we're gonna change this to an or and click apply. Now you could see over on the right, we have New Jersey and New York. We can click here and save this as New York and New Jersey customers. And now we have three different filters. And notice once I turn this into an advanced filter, Acumatica now shows the entire syntax. The other differences I noticed is that if you hold down the shift key on the bind, it doesn't quite work the same way yet. If you press the control key, you can select certain records. But again, this functionality may change as time goes on. We don't know yet. Now, if we click on the gear button over here on the upper right, you'll notice we have an option to share the column configuration. And that looks like something that's not quite completed yet. But I could see here, here's the grid, the table ID. And then if we hit next, it looks like we can assign it to certain user roles or check off different logins. So this is very exciting. We get this question all the time, how do I share column configuration? Now, if we jump into a customer profile, you can see this has changed a lot as well. We go back over to vendors and we open up a vendor profile. You can see the difference. This is Acumatica the way it currently is. And this is the future user interface. So the first thing we notice is the buttons up at the top. They've been slightly reorganized. Notice that there's activities here for customers. Whereas over here, there is no activities. Instead, you just have the tabs down below, which you have also for the new user interface. But you can see everything is cleanly laid out. You can go through the tabs. And the other thing we notice, if we look at a mobile device and we go into the customer profile, you could see the new user interface. If I turn my device landscape, you can see it. And you'll notice that it navigates a lot nicer. Again, this is not the Acumatica mobile app. This is the web app. If I search for that same customer, notice we have the ability to actually search. Acumatica found it and it opened up the record when I click the checkbox on my phone's keyboard. But the other thing you'll notice is that I can now scroll up and down and I have a nice visibility on a mobile device. So previously, you'd have to try to scroll over to the left. The screens weren't exactly responsive design for these smaller screens. So it's very difficult to navigate. This has fixed all of that. And if we scroll over, you can see your tabs here. Everything is nice and clean and well laid out. So this is a huge improvement and something to look forward to. Of course, the mobile app does a lot and you could essentially see almost any screen in Acumatica, but this might be a game changer to be able to use the regular web version on a mobile device, regardless of its resolution. Now, the other thing you can do here, if we click on our gear, 
is we have a new option called screen configuration. And notice when I go into screen configuration mode, you have a couple of options at the top. Well, notice the gears at the top of the screen. If I click on that gear, it gives me the ability to add fields over to that segment, that section, that group on the screen. So right now I have balanced, prepay balance, and retain balance. But what if, say for example, I wanted to maybe add my address line there. I can drag and drop it. Notice all of these allow you to move, drag and drop as well. The other column configuration didn't. Also notice this pop-up window. I can drag and drop this. I couldn't do that before. When we had any kind of pop-up windows on a UI screen, you couldn't do that. So this is nice too, you could slide things sometimes out of the way. But if I click apply here, notice I easily picked up a new field that I selected into this section without any customization at all. Very exciting. Over here we can click and actually see different tabs, move them around. If I click on this arrow right here, I can hide tabs easily from the screen. We get this request all the time. Now with security, you can remove fields from the screen, but you can't remove tabs. So this gives us the ability to do that. And then over here, you can reset it back to the default. So let's say I don't wanna see, for example, mail and printing. I can click on that, bring it over to hidden tabs, click apply. But now I don't see it in my main view. So you could move on and you could do a lot of things here and really configure the screen the way you want. Now, when I'm done, I can click apply. So notice I've made my changes. I now have this address here. If I go into my menu, I can see service billing. I can't see mail and printing, but maybe because I'm an admin, I can get to it still. I can go back into my screen configuration. I can go over and reset to default. And now everything is right where it was before I made the changes. Now let's take a look at a sales order. We'll go into sales orders, our listing screen. Very similar to what we saw in the customers. Notice our side panel over here on the right. But we can collapse that. But if we click on the plus button to add a new sales order, let's write one. So the first thing we notice is some additional colors. This is very nice. This breaks up our view and allows our eyes to go to things that are more important. But moreover, it looks like we have a lot of flexibility. Notice at the top of the screen, we have the ability to collapse. Also notice that there's an option to hide, I guess, the summary here. So that's all possible probably through either screen configuration in the future or through customization. The fact that we can do that or give our users the ability to do that. So let's go through and we'll tab along. We'll type in a few letters of our customer. Seems much faster now. We'll go down to our details area. We'll pick up a laptop computer much faster than before. We'll order five of them. Looks like the down arrow doesn't quite yet return to the left. But again, these are all things, this is just a preview. So we'll add a Lego and we'll save it. So that's all we know right now of the new user interface. Very exciting. And this gives way to many, many different benefits with the new user interface coming on with Acumatica switching to .NET Core. So we're all excited about this. And as we learn more things, we'll continue to cover them on our channel. Thanks so much for watching this video. And we'd love to hear your comments down below about what you see, feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks again and have a great day.